What is good, Further Beyonders? We are back for another episode of Further Beyond. I told y'all we would be back weekly. We are finally back. How are you doing, Pan? Doing well, doing well. We are actually back. See, last week I was like, we shouldn't make any promises, okay? Whatever, like anything can happen. We might just skip another week and then we skip two weeks and so on. You know how it goes, but <laughs> we're back. We're actually here for yes, another sir. week. Yes, sir. <laughs> two weeks in a row, that got to be some type of record. It has to be. Yeah, I mean, we had to be here with the whole, and this is what we want to talk about today, the whole alien in Mexico shit that was oh going on this God. week. It was so insane, dog. Yeah, I, I, last time I said I would come in with a conspiracy theory, and then actually, and this is not even a lie, like, while <laughs> researching, you were the one to message me like, uh, yeah, we have to talk about those aliens. And I dropped whatever I was doing because I didn't even you know, know about this at that time. I researched it, and it should look so whack. <laughs> so interesting. <laughs> I dropped everything. I had. Yeah, I was like, I, I okay. So we all, we of course have the intention to come in with the conspiracy theory, like we do every single yeah. week. We do every single time we do further beyond. But like, how can we not talk about this? Like, we even brought up last episode how like aliens aren't a conspiracy anymore, and they've been confirmed. And now like <laughs> we're actually. <laughs> Well, allegedly, of course, like that shit yeah, isn't allegedly. real. But if we we quote unquote see all a real alien for the first time ever, that shit's insane. It's like you said, you yeah. just now recently saw it, like a couple of days ago. Yeah, I mean, when you pointed it out to me, I don't know how old this is, or like I, I forgot the exact date, but this is still pretty recent. As I said, I've seen it be talked about everywhere, and it, it's a nice coincidence to actually talk about it now, considering how we like what we said last time about. Whatever we say somehow, you know, gets an update or of anything like the I seventy killer, the the Yeah, we literally well, brought that up it? too. <laughs> Zodiac. Yeah, every everybody gets an update as soon as, as we cover it, okay? I guess this this podcast is somehow important to the world. And, now, <laughs> and then we talk about aliens. <laughs> there they are. Yes, bro, like we I think we talked about that on it had to be on of course I think we recorded it Saturday or Sunday. And then I was at work, I think, on Tuesdays when the information first dropped or whatever. Mm -hmm. I was at work, you know, just cooking or whatever, and I got on my phone. I'm able to check my phone, like, every now and then. And I got on Twitter, and it said aliens. But it's it's been saying that a lot for, like, the past <laughs> couple of months. I was like, what the fuck is what's happening this time? So I clicked on it, and it said unveiling aliens now. So I was like, what the hell? And I saw, like, of course, a credible source is actually citing it. So I was like, okay, let me just watch this live stream. And then, <laughs> no way you saw it live. Yes, nah, and then crazy. it showed like the two guys <laughs> were like unveiling the coffin that they were inside. I was like, "What the fuck is going on?" And then it started trending number one. I thought it was like some just like weird prank or something. But it was actually real, yeah. supposedly. Yeah, I had to check a couple sources to actually see like how credible this is. Why the fuck does that alien fossil, whatever you want to call it, look like that one old ass grandma from, from SpongeBob? <laughs> like, I cannot tell you. Yeah, it looks uh, like the stereotypical but, alien that we've always thought they look like. Yeah, I mean, this opens up a lot of very funny, very nice conspiracy theories. Like, as, as you said, like, why does it look like all those stereotypical aliens we've seen in movies? What if, if we, I mean, this alien is said to be like 1000 years old or so or yeah. even more. And uh, they found it now. What if, you know, the movie industry, because we all know the movie industry in, in the US or wh wherever has like, a lot of conspiracies going on. What if they knew about these and this is why the aliens in our media look the way they do? Yeah, I mean, alien movies, like, I think the oldest one is like 1975. Like, I can't really think mm -hmm. of anything that was like drastically popular than the movie Alien itself. Of course, that looks nothing like this one. If they look like that, then yeah, they'd yeah. be fucked. But... Like, of course, the movie Signs, I'm pretty sure, showed an alien like that. A whole bunch of goofy movies showed aliens that look like that. Like, I mean, they, they we either copy them or they copied us. <laughs> like, it's either one of those things. But do you think that's actually real or not? Bro, I've been thinking, like, it would be so fun for it to be real. But it's also, especially in, like, nowadays... Like in our current time, it, it's so hard to believe this because it can be faked so easily. Yeah. And then to be honest, it could also have been faked even 50 years ago. But now especially, aliens conspiracies are at an all-time high. They always go, you know, the more we learn about the universe, the more we believe in aliens or more, more people talk about aliens. And you see this, this random-ass fossil 
And it looks exactly like that. It looks so humanoid. I think this is one of the main criticisms, right? That it just looks way too much like like arms and legs and like just looks like a small fetus, basically. But yeah, exactly. And the the guy who, you know, unveiled this, who came up like came to the government with this. I forgot his name. Um, He I think I read also that he like in 2015 or so also found an alien of some kind. But it was like uh, scientists just like found out that it's actually just a mummified kid. So that was no alien. And then he like two years later or whatever. Like I think this is I don't know when this exactly exactly happened. Like 2017, and then we only found out about it now. Or is this actually very recently? I, I'm not sure. But um, yeah. But now he the same guy comes in with this alien, like the, with this fossil, saying now now this time it's an actual alien. <laughs> Yeah, I've heard. Is, um, yeah, weird. Of course, like the they've been a lot of a lot of people have been researching this because, of course, mm-hmm. we all can't just see aliens and everybody just believe it automatically. <laughs> um, yeah, I heard that that guy has come out multiple times with different aliens and different mythological creatures, and they just like apparently it's like some prank that he does a lot. But like this is the one time where he was like, no, like this is actually real. We found it and. Yada, yada, no, yada, some yada. Usopp. Okay, okay. Always lying. Yeah, with yeah, yeah. But then the yeah, one okay, time okay. is true. Like, yo, no. Nah, so, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I did hear about that, which, is, of course, makes it kind of skeptical. Um, it does look extremely real because I've just been conditioned to see that's what aliens look like. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure, like, on the um, iceberg, there's something called, like, the Gray Man or something like that. And that is what that type of alien is. It's called, like, the Grays or the Gray Man or something like that. Like, it's the small, stereotypical-looking aliens. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. It'd be cool for it to be real, honestly. Like, I wish it was real. Like, I just wish, like, it would be confirmed already. I'm tired of, like, teetering yeah. on the line of, like, yo, are there aliens? Are there not? Like, I'm just, I just wish it would be confirmed already, honestly. Yeah, maybe you have some more info on that. I remember watching a YouTube video, like, two days ago or so, where the guy was talking about this specific alien being found and shit, and that they somehow were able to scan or look into the inside and found some shit is that actually something that happened like they were talking about some with they found embryos and and they found uh but the you know weird bone structure yeah way, like yeah some well shit, some shit like that well with that is like of course people went to immediately try to say it was fake so they start mm-hmm. looking deeper into it and it turns out, like, they at first thought it was fake because they looked into the guy's past and saw that he was just a liar with everything he does. But then they saw, like, scientists actually doing tests on it and said, like, yo, this is, of course, it looks like a human. It has, like, uh, the same bone structures and stuff we do. But, like, the the insides of it don't look human-like. Like, it looks like it has, like, exactly. its own organs and shit like that. So they're just, like, they nobody can really confirm or not. Like, of course, the story is... I doubt it blows up again, but in like in the little like week time span it was actually famous or whatever. <laughs> but like the last I heard of it was like they didn't know if it was real or not and it kind of just died mm-hmm. off of that for whatever reason. Yeah, in terms of bone structure, uh, the people, you know, analyzing it said that the bones were positioned so weirdly or you know, made like they are just yeah, positioned is I think the right word here. Um it couldn't it would not be able to stand on its feet. So this is what made people skeptical that it's just weirdly, I don't know, formed, I guess, like a living being uh, that, you know, would would like would have the ability to live, wouldn't have this type of bone structure. I mean, then I'm thinking, what if it can, you know, kind of float on some, you know, alien telepathy, tele- telekinesis movie type shit? Like, why not? <laughs> I mean, it, I, I want it to be real, man. Like, as I was watching that same, shit. Same. <laughs> But, like, the thing is, like, if it was real, I don't think the government would really have let that information come over here because you got to think of, like, if aliens are confirmed to exist, like, that probably deconfirms, like, five different religions immediately. Like, the, <laughs> <laughs> the religions that are like, yo, we're the only ones here and our God, you know, made us specifically and uniquely, like... It deconfirms not, not gonna lie, most of them. Dog. Not gonna lie, religious people would still find another explanation for why their religion is still valid. Like we could show them full on, like mul- uh, multiple different uh, alien races at some point, <laughs> and they would still say that uh, God also made those. And it's here in this in this passage, okay, in this psalm. Like it's a, it's just a weird thing. 
But I mean, the timing is good. Like we get the, I guess, kind of confirmation that aliens exist okay, <laughs> by the government. Then a few weeks later, or I don't know how long this already, like a month, some weeks, I'm not sure. We get this alien. And um, but then the weird thing is there is this guy who has made, I don't know, he's also very famous, but I'm, I'm bad with names. Maybe you heard about it. Some guy that is famous for capturing some footage of a, of a UFO. He came out and said that he doesn't believe that this is an alien. He says this is fake. Even though he is one of the guys saying, yo, bro, UFOs exist. I saw it. Aliens exist. But then when, you know, when he sees aliens in front of him, he's like, nope, this, this got to be fake. He's just mad that he can't get clout off this shit. So he tried to find some way to get I'm clout. Saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, like, I would say that too. <laughs> like, if you're trying to promote that something is real and then somebody else comes out like, yo, it is real. And then you're like, man, no, it's not. Like, what? You've been saying for so long that it's real. And now all of a sudden you deconfirm with somebody else. Like, get your bum ass out of here, dog. Yeah. I mean, one th- it, it's always weird that they those aliens are found in the worst obscure places. I mean, okay, then again, 1,000 years old? That shit, was it even alive when it when it landed here? If if we believe the soul shit, like 1, 1K is... I'm also wondering, I saw videos of them, like, uh, holding it up. Okay, yeah. I'm not that... I can't really imagine something fossilized for 1,000 years to be... Um, this sturdy is it actually sturdy like i would not be touching it lightly like that just you know it could break at any point i feel like or did um, am i misunderstanding something here um i feel like they'll say some bullshit like yeah if it was like a human then that would happen like that but it's an alien so their their skeletal structure is different on their planet there's some bullshit (laughs) like that (laughs) they have like adamantium skull like skeletal or some shit like that yeah yeah right right but, but I, mean, I mean, it's it's weird how like yeah. I think even a week ago, like about probably a couple of days before this alien came out or whatever, like um, I think somebody on Twitter came out and it was like a huge news story that uh, apparently there used to be life on Mars. Like it was like actually hard confirmed. Mm-hmm. I know mean, that's always been like a thing. Like oh, man, there might be life on Mars a couple of years ago because of water or some shit they found, but they actually found like fossils. Like there used to be actual life on Mars. So I don't know. If that has mm-hmm. anything to do with this, but it's just weird how, like, news stories always line up. And we still haven't gotten the whole story of the fucking, the girl on the plane that was losing her mind. And every time she comes yeah. out, she's saying, like, yeah, I can't talk about it. So, I don't, it's just weird stuff. <laughs> <laughs> For whatever reason. And I'm reading here just because I f- this is something I forgot. Good thing I have this pulled up. Like It says, after comparisons were made to the other DNA samples, it was found that over, uh, over, over I mean, sorry, over 30% of the specimen's DNA was unknown. And then it says, like, x-rays of the specimens were also shown during the hearing. It supposedly has eggs inside. They could, you know, look into the brain or some shit. Obviously dead. But the fact that it has eggs in it, and if we want to entertain this thought, believe in all this... We might see more aliens at some point. I mean, they're probably not alive. Let's be real here. Yeah, if it has eggs and that thing's a thousand years old, I, I doubt it takes that long to hatch. But then, I mean, we, we learned that it has eggs. So even for aliens, I guess, they still have um, a body structure or a reprodu- reproduction structure similar to other animals. I suppose. I suppose. They're on some bird type shit. I can, I can already tell. I just hope we didn't take like an important one. Like, imagine we took like the <laughs> the Biden no, no. of aliens, like by accident, <laughs> and they all say, like, "Yo, oh, no. yeah, he'd be I better mean, still be down there alive, right?" <laughs> like, hell, look, nah. looking at these photos, does does this alien look kind of important? Like, it's nah, not that like strong. Pick of the litter. Is it smart. What I if saw, it has? Like, <laughs> I saw people on Twitter these... immediately saying they could fight it. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, I could take it probably. But looking at this, what if the other aliens from this species don't have as big of a, of a brain as this one does? Maybe this is like <laughs> the smartest one, man. We, or maybe it's just an average one. But also thinking about it, isn't it always the case that in movies when the main character or who, I mean, it, it can even be a side character, comes to other people with some crazy shit, okay? Especially in <laughs> horror movies, that's the case. Uh, they come to the, they come to other people. They come to the government and are like, "Bro, I gotta warn you. The world is about to end. I found some crazy shit. No, don't go in there. I saw it all. Nobody believes these people. Nobody, 
uh, everybody is just laughing at them. And that's what we're doing right now. Like most people don't believe this, obviously, right? Nowadays, it's just hard to believe some shit like this. But what if this is actually real? We're laughing. And then in like 10 years, just some aliens pull up and eradicate us. Like because 10 days. The- I guess always some days. dude in like his glasses hanging off his face and the loose lab called like, yo, guys, I promise it's real this time. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody laughs at him. And then the world ends a couple of days later. So I don't know. No. No, I mean, just looking at this, as I said, hard to believe, easy to fake. Especially, this is just interesting timing, okay? You could you could go both ways because of the alien confirmation, if you don't believe that. Then there are like two two sides, I guess. The people who are like, okay this kind of fits because now that we have the confirmation people are coming out with these infos we learn more about aliens or it's just yeah because now aliens are hyped up because of this you know currently just aliens are our big topic let's get this with story in because people are more interested to read it now than uh, let's say like a couple months ago before the confirmation happened maybe it's just all about uh, all about views all about uh, money the, the readers on their websites, whatever they, where, where they get the money from. You could probably argue that that's the case. But I really want this to be real. I think, yeah, I mean, that's also a very important thing to realize is that, like, aliens are going to always be a hot topic. Like, no matter who comes out and takes that, if it, like, if it blows up, if it blows up, like, people are going to be talking about it a lot. Um, mm-hmm. So Mexico... Which, of course, they also did say, I think I heard um, Taco say that the Mexican government is kind of like a, they just joke around a lot for whatever <laughs> for whatever reason. No way. Taco said that. Yeah. Say. He said, like, yeah. <laughs> for some reason, like, the Mexican government always just, like, pranks their people. Like, I, I mm-hmm. don't know if that's true. I don't know how, like, to confirm that. But apparently, like, the government over there is just kind of like, a, they just be in a silly mood all the time. And they'll just sometimes be like, yo, we found Atlantis. And then come out and say just kidding a couple of days later. Mm-hmm. So I, I, have, I have no idea, but <laughs> I did. I did believe it a lot more when I saw the government room. It was like when it was in the government and like it was in the courtroom and stuff like that. I definitely believed it a lot more. Yeah, I'm just I'm just on the website looking at these comments. Many people believe it. Some people are questioning it. Some people go further and are like, we have to look at older things that were uh, quote unquote debunked now because we've seen like we have got like more info what about the old stuff that we didn't believe in like we have to look at this again but then uh, people replying with like lay off the the chemtrails and that everything is a conspiracy oh my god <laughs> freddy fazbear uh, endoskeleton yeah yeah we we got it all in these comments <laughs> <laughs> this thing is so fucking ugly <laughs> what is this why is their facial like off their head yeah, and it's a fossil. <laughs> I wonder how it would look like with skin. If it if it actually has skin. What if it's just actually a skeleton walking around? No, no, no. This is so interesting. Because even... Do we even, like... I have to digress here, okay? In terms of fossils. Do we even really objectively know what type of color dinosaurs were? Because cause you find the fossils. We Do we even find, like, parts of skin, the leather, some, some, some shit like that? I don't know. I don't fucking know. Like, do we do we learn about this? Do no, I mean, you, you may have heard about this. Cause I'm pretty sure it was, like, a pretty popular thing. But they said, like, dinosaurs apparently used to have feathers and shit like that, which they just yeah. now confirmed recently. So the fossils can literally look like anything. Like, it, for, that's how fossils are. Like, we're not back we in that time. What, we what have they no sound idea. Like. Yeah, we made up sounds of what we think they sound like. Like they could they could have just talked <laughs> like they honestly talked, like, like, bro yeah this this goes hand in hand i don't know if you sent me this or if i just saw it on tiktok randomly i saw it today like people some some guy came up to people um and was asking them like uh what what is the conspiracy you 100 percent believe in okay whatever they say some said like uh the moon is a hologram like the, the usual cdd stuff you know it goes yeah. and then there is uh there was one woman who said humans uh, were not able to uh, are not able to make those pyramids it had to have been dinosaurs and this is just so random like why would it be dinosaurs but if dinosaurs were actually talking like us thinking like us <laughs> you know yeah i mean i saw this, i saw this tiktok video yesterday i think it, it like showed how big the pyramid actually was and like i don't, mm-hmm. I don't know <laughs> like i don't believe dinosaurs did that shit because i 
just yeah. not. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> but maybe we did have some sort of help because, like, that shit is huge. Like, something that would take yeah. us probably years to finish today. Like, how did they do that without cranes and shit like that? Like, what yeah. were they? What were their pulley systems back then, where they could just easily build a pyramid? I mean, this reminds me of the. I mean, we're digressing a lot, but fuck, why not? Uh, the whole pyramid thing is also very similar to this. Um, those statues, like what are they called? The the face statues. Uh, the Sphinx. No, not 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 in, not in Egypt. The the one with those. Oh, the like, um, the, 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 what the fuck Stonehenge is is that? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know yeah, what you're yeah, talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we heard a conspiracy where I, I believe this was about them, like who made those, or how are they so precise? Why are they so positioned like that? And it's a similar thing. Like people back then should not have been able to do this type of thing when this was made. So it's just we have on Earth multiple things that are kind of unexplained, and you cannot really objectively probably explain those. You know, like as a fact, because it's just so long ago, the, the pyramids, especially like this, this shit is so far back. We 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 barely we don't even know a lot about it. Cause even even like going back like one thousand years or so. Cause I had a class j- just going like I had a class in college. Like just go back one thousand years, and a lot of literature, a lot of books, a lot of poems, whatever. One a lot of songs. We don't know who wrote them. They're often in some random. Um, uh, composition we don't even know like if if you have a story okay we don't even sometimes know which one's the first act which one's the second we have to read those kind of in the old language and then give uh, put them incorrectly like yeah. there's just a lot of missing and this is we just go back 1000 years ago and now imagine going back 2000 3000 we, uh, years ago like it, it's it's difficult to make out these things and then you have, I mean, these aliens. One thousand years is more than you want. Someone might. Like, sometimes it's just difficult to really imagine how the world looked like one thousand years ago. What what even happened one thousand years? One thousand years ago, that was one thousand and what the fuck was it? Twenty three. Yeah, one thousand twenty three. What the hell's going on back then? Was that yeah, like, I mean, that was like before anything, right? This, yeah, <laughs> this is. I think this is like slightly after the Middle Ages and shit. So I mean. Did aliens help uh, during the wars back then? <laughs> yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe there was like a huge war that just wiped everything out, and we just started from the beginning. I'm pretty sure that's also a theory on no, the CDD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole shit about um, like nuclear bombs existed back then. If you remember, like, like, like people, people for like we like old books saying shit like, um, what was it uh, that they saw that there's a weapon, right? And it, it was a very bright light. And the whole army disappeared after you know, <laughs> using it. Like this type of description from from the from old times, and back then we were, and uh, exactly and the the place where this war happened, like this whole story that I'm that I'm you know about the bomb, uh, they found in the sand or deeper in in the ground like glass that um, was the specific type of glass that you know. Ha- like, it comes from like, like explosions or some if, shit, right? If, if a, yeah, if an explosion happens in this desert, people said no. It 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 was probably lightning, but lightning produces a different kind of glass formation. So now yeah, glass, like, okay, glass from lightning is like a spherical, not spherical, but like a, a tube kind of. Yeah, and it it was something completely different, and people are like, okay, maybe those stories might be true. And then we have this alien story, like how if if we believe this, maybe aliens were there, bombs, you know, whatever. <laughs> aliens it's just all dropping connects. bombs on us, like I don't know. If man. we actually if we actually get the confirmation that aliens really existed or exist, let's just exist present tense, but they were on Earth already more than one thousand years ago, helping out, maybe in the shadows, maybe not. Who the fuck knows? Uh, nobody knows. Um, then a lot of these conspiracies that we talked about in the past just, you know, have to be put under a new light because things that seemed unlikely suddenly are very likely if you have outside help, different technology, different knowledge. This goes deeper. We have to wait. We will see how this goes. We'll see. We'll we'll look into this development for sure. Yeah, we'll keep you all updated because I think I don't think this story is done yet. Hopefully not. Hopefully it comes out. You know, they, hopefully it's either confirmed or denied. I hope it's confirmed. Maybe the alien just starts walking again one day and they record that <laughs> shit. 
<laughs> I have no idea. They're about to clone this shit somehow. Oh, yeah. They always yeah, are like, able to do this. No, for some reason, scientists they, want to create the end of the world. Didn't scientists, like, learn how to create artificial life recently or some shit? Like, make, yeah, well, they make, just uh, they just made another, they created another mammoth. So, and that, yeah. was actually, that was actually true. Yeah. So, what, if they are able to somehow get anything off of this that, you know, is usable for this type of experiment, we might have a, a small alien society very soon. <laughs> not very soon. <laughs> would, you, would you join it? Like, would you go and see what's up? Just go Bro, look at you, it? Have, you should rather ask, like, would they let me join them? Yeah, that's, Bro, very, it, that's very true. I always... This is, like, also... It, like people are, have different understandings of what aliens would be, right? If 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 we actually can confirm that they're real, are they better than us? Are they weaker than us? What if we are just superior to those aliens, right? In somehow, somehow. Right. But then again, <laughs> if if they're able to get to us, they are probably superior, right? If I if I fly <laughs> seventeen light years to a different planet to get my ass beat and then die <laughs> like there's no there's no way yeah what if they are smart and they are able to you know their their spacecrafts are very like advanced humans would not be able to do this for thousands and thousands of years they get here but they're so physically weak that we, or like they die off of the air alone or some disease <laughs> and we're gonna i mean they probably already if we found the alien they probably already took that technology and made some crazy shit out of it because I, I keep seeing stories of like People that be <laughs> people that have like fight against American wars are like, yo, like they have some crazy like atomizing stuff. Like and somebody, I saw somebody shoot a gun at somebody and just turn them to atoms. So I don't know. Maybe we have some type <laughs> of crazy technology <laughs> that the yeah. government just don't tell us about. I don't know. But but if if aliens are real, they this is my understanding. They are probably better than us in some crucial way. They might be stronger. They might be smarter. They might, they might maybe both. Right? Maybe they have some weird as abilities that are impossible physically. But who the fuck knows? Because the universe works in its in its own ways. Shit that doesn't make sense somehow makes sense in the universe. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Still flabbergasted off of how black holes work, okay? Because that shit is freaky in terms of how time works and gravity and shit. Bro. Yeah, the fact that like the fact that time travel could exist inside black holes, but nobody would know. Because we can't, <laughs> we can't do any research on it at all. Or we'll die. Or as exactly. far as we know, maybe we get sucked in there and get sent back to the fucking one thousand twenty three. No, please. Oh wait, no. Please do that. We might see some aliens. Or yeah, but you wouldn't be able to make it back. <laughs> You'd be stuck it there. Doesn't, it doesn't matter. We have the alien technology. Imagine you have a time machine. And you're like, okay, let's go back like two thousand years, one thousand years. See how. How primitive those people were, and then you go back and it's the most futuristic society <laughs> yeah, I've ever seen. More futurist than this, like yo, what the, how the fuck? How'd you get here? Like what? Like did yeah, I go to three thousand twenty-three? Like no, you're in one thousand twenty-three. Yeah. You came to the to the past a couple like one year before extinction happens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. As you're getting there, like wait, what is that? I don't know. It's just a huge explosion. Ah! Like no way. <laughs> worth it. Worth it. <laughs> it's all, fuck no. All to satiate uh, the humanity's hunger for more knowledge, I guess. But no, that's gonna be I mean, our downfall. Story, yeah, it's gonna be. <laughs> this story is interesting, as I said. Uh, I I want to see more. I don't want the story to just die out uh, in a few days or so. What if it just dies out tomorrow? Nobody's gonna talk just, about it because it makes everybody's no seen it. Nothing new happens. I want to see more, even if it's fake, bro. Give us some more, okay? Give us, show us some more aliens. <laughs> That's what I was surprised about. Like, as this, like even as it was happening, the live stream, whatever. Like, I was showing a few of my workers, and they were just like, like suck their teeth and roll their eyes. Like, bro, what? Like, you see what's going on right now? Like, yeah. Like people I just mean, don't care. Yeah, P I mean, on this, on on further beyond, we do like to look at both sides, right? We we look at it critically, unlike a lot of these conspiracy theorists that don't believe the government at all and believe anything they see yeah. on Facebook. <laughs> so for this one, I look at this, you know, from my co like conspiracy um, loving mind, whatever you want to call it. Like I wanted, I want this to be true. Like I know about the conspiracies. This sounds interesting, but then I'm also like thinking rationally. Uh, this is easily faked. Yeah, and some yeah. people are like 
like when I, I showed this to my to my like my brother liked this my brother was like this is interesting right he was watching video but then my parents were like uh, like your co-workers as you explained like nah, okay this is some bullshit okay they don't even try to imagine you know have some fun with it <laughs> I, just, I, I, thought, I guess i guess people were just so jaded from life they're just like well, yeah if they come i don't give a fuck anymore <laughs> like maybe if we showed like people back in like the 80s they'd be like yo Back when like, Star Wars when it was in prime, but like now yeah, it's we literally like, got some alien confirmation and nobody cared. Yeah, now but, Star I mean, Wars again, sucks. Now Star Trek ain't hitting anymore. Now it's just like I don't give a fuck. Yeah, about aliens. That's tough. And again, my my dad said this is some like this, I get. I mean, he said this is kind of interesting, but then he also said this is some distraction from the big problems, right? Like like all the shit that goes uh like is happening in the world, and this story comes up. It's just there to distract you. I mean, a lot of shit happens in the internet. Like, it's not that deep usually. This happens. It's interesting. I wouldn't call this a distraction per se, because this this shit will probably disappear in a week. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because like it's nothing really distracts us anymore. Like, you could say it's distracting us from something, and I did see something that it could be distracting us from. Because like I saw like later that day, apparently Taiwan got raided by China, but like we still get like we still get news reports about that. Like, it didn't distract mm-hmm. us from anything. Like, yeah, we saw the alien shit, and we saw Taiwan get invaded. So, like, what what is it really distracting us from? Yeah, you can you can have both, right? Like, it doesn't need to be just one thing. The news will hopefully show both. I mean, again, it depends on it depends on the news source. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'll try to leave that shit completely out of it. Yeah, yeah, we will At keep y'all updated if we see both. anything else about this. Um, yeah, we'll keep you updated. I like I will probably see more of it on TikTok or Twitter, or whatever wherever if if new shit happens but i mean to conclude basically i want this to be real we want this to be real just because it's so interesting and fun yeah uh, i mean if aliens came down we yeah. we'd probably live stream from this channel for the first time ever just to <laughs> <laughs> show what we the fuck to. is going on <laughs> like, yo no. no i'm going live on every site i own on every social media movie. i got yeah, have, have, have the beams phone start yeah. flying through this guy. I'm going live on everything and then jumping yeah, in that you, shit. You see, you see the UFOs uh, charging up the laser beam. <laughs> yeah, talk live. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be like, yo, check on your strong friends, pray for your enemies, and then it's just gonna explode. Because you, you you cannot do anything anyway. Like, why resist? Why why, why struggle? You you know what's coming. <laughs> yeah, it's not like a apocalypse. Like you can't just be like, yo, we gotta survive. Nah, but if a real spaceship comes down, like, yo, y'all took Terrans. Oh, yeah, you're fucked. <laughs> and then charges their beam up to fucking no way. And annihilate then some us. Random people on the other side of the earth watch your live stream and like, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> now, some people will still call it fake. And then after a few seconds, they're gone. <laughs> yeah, and after they say, what's that bright light out the window? And then, ah! <laughs> ain't no, ain't no fake mine. after that. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the aliens, I am become a death. Like, what the fuck? Oh, hell no. Good reference, though. <laughs> yes, sir. I yes, mean, sir. yeah. As we said, I mean, we just wanted to talk about this, okay? We we had the same topic, aliens, just because this is like the biggest thing right now. For next uh, for next week, I'm gonna say week. Um, I'm I'm gonna come out with uh, you know, hope, maybe maybe anything, maybe something happens again, like some random shit, and we have to cover that. But if nothing of note happens, regular scheduled programming, yeah. con- some conspiracy theories, maybe maybe older ones, right? Random topics, two maybe like two scary stories. We don't know. We'll see. Yeah, but for sure. And October is coming up, up too, so we may try to implement something new for October, like you know, spooky month, whatever the fuck. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, if, if something big like this happens, like some crazy shit gets confirmed, like Zodiac Killer gets unnamed and shit like that, like we might do episodes <laughs> like this where we just come on and talk about it and just like mm-hmm. discuss the topic and shit. But yeah, other than that, yeah, we got you with the regularly scheduled program for sure. Bad. All right, I think that should be it. If you good. Yeah, I'm good. I mean, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening for the Beyond with Apollo and Pan. And uh, don't get captured by any by any aliens until at least until the next episode. Okay. If, if you do yeah. see them, just try to send us footage so we can be the yes. ones to break that send, shit. Send us uh, like on social media anywhere. Okay, maybe you send like, some, <laughs> some doves our way, some bird, some birds. Okay, we will get the message. We'll, somehow we'll get the message. Yeah, because like they they joke around, be able to beat this little thing's ass. But like, if I saw this thing running towards me, I'm not just standing there.
Yeah, I'm beating this this alien ass, and then the no, alien I'm, just use some tele that takes some running. telekinesis on me, and I explode. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> pick you up and fling you in the air, <laughs> thousands oh, of feet. No, this, <laughs> would, this would probably happen. I'm gonna lie. I'm not attacking this shit. Like even like small animals, like the or, or small beings in general that look weird. Even if you know that you're physically stronger, don't go there. Okay, yeah, anything yeah. can happen. Don't go there. Be smart. <laughs> there, there are some colorful frogs out there that will destroy you. Oh, so yeah, that's, that's actually true. <laughs> All right, we'll see y'all next episode. Peace. Peace.